students you welcome on learning with l and r and today we are going to discuss about the new procedure that is new natal reflexes it is a part of the physical assessment oh sorry it is a part of the new natal assessment first one physical assessment we have covered in the previous video and today we are going to discuss about the new natal reflexes it is a part of the neurological assessment also known as developmental primary or primitive reflexes they can provide information about lower motor neurons and muscle tone they are often protective and disappear as high level motor functions emerge then first one blinking or corneal reflex what is that what happened in this infant blinks to sudden appearance of a bright light or at approach of an object towards cornea right it persists throughout the life then pupillary reflex pupil constricts when a bright light shines toward it it persists throughout the life we also have uh, this these reflexes then dog's eye reflex as head is moved slowly to right or left eyes lag behind and do not immediately adjust to a new position of the head head turn but the eyes slowly 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 turn on the point right it disappears as fixation develops and it persists to indicate neurological damage if it uh, if the dog's eye reflexes not disappear then it means there there is something wrong with the child then sneezing reflex spontaneous response of nasal passages to irritation or obstruction persists throughout the life then glabular reflex tapping briskly briskly on glabella bridge of the nose as you seen in the image causes eyes to move tightly and disappears as brain mature sucking reflex it disappears around 12 months of age as listed by the examiner stroking the lips of the infant the infant's mouth opens and the examiner introduces their glove finger and sucking starts then rooting reflex it disappears Three to four months, elicited by the examiner stroking the cheek or corner of the infant's mouth, the infant's head turns toward the stimulus and opens its mouth. Then gag reflex, stimulation of posterior pharynx by food suction or passage of a tube causes causes infant to gag, persists throughout life. Extrusion reflex. When tongue is touched or depressed, infant responds responds by forcing it outward. Disappears at the age of four months. Then yawn. Spontaneously responds to decreased oxygen by increasing amount of inspired air. Then palmar grass reflex. It disappears at the age of two months. Elicited by the examiner placing his finger on the palmar surface of the infant's hand and the infant's hand grasps the finger. Then tonic, tonic neck reflex it disappear at the age of seven months. Elicited by rotating the infant's head from midline to one side. It is actually it is real. Uh, it is present in the image you can see the image and it is the exactly tonic neck reflex the infant should respond by extending the arm on the side to which the head is turned and the flexion of the opposite arm the lower extremities respond similarly then morose reflex onset 28 to 32 weeks of gestational age then well established 37 weeks of gestational age then disappear 6 months of age examiner holds the infant so that one hand sports the head and the other sports the buttocks the reflex is elicited by the sudden dropping of the head in her hand the response is a series of movements the infant's head open and there is extension and abduction of the upper extremities this is followed by anterior flexion of the upper extremities and the audible cry this is the moro reflex you can usually see this but you have to remember moro significance an absence or inadequate moro response on one side 
hemiplegia, brachial plexus palsy, or fractured clavicle may be there. Persistence beyond 5 months of age is indicate severe neurological de defects like a startle reflex. Then stripping reflex disappears 3 to 4 months, elicited by touching the top of the infant's foot to the edge of the table while the infant is held upright, the infant makes movements that resemble stripping. Then Babinski reflex, it disappears 12 months and elicited by stimulation applied on the edge of the sole of the foot, the infant responds by plantar flexion and either flexion or extension of the toes. Then crawling reflex, when placed on abdomen, Infants make crawling movements with the arms and legs. It disappears at about age 6 weeks. Then, Harlequin color change. Color changes as the infant lies on the side, lower half of the body becomes pink or red and the upper half is pale. It is entirely harmless and never been associated with permanent problem. Then, torticollis or right egg had ha head held to one side with chin pointing to opposite side due to positioning in the warm and uh, exercise the neck gently in opposite direction okay then newborn babies have more bones than adult about 300 okay thank you very much i hope you have clear with this